Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today will be another re-release already uploaded unboxing video on this DW600FS Sneaker Freaker collab. This model was released only in Australia back in 2015. Here is everything. We're gonna have this special box. I mean, the unboxing experience on this release is the best one, I believe, because of how big the box is it looks like almost like a uh, sneaker type of box the theme for this model is of course night owl and that's why they add all those black glossy finish with white speckles to represent stars in the night sky which is pretty beautiful and match very well with this theme and of course they have this green colorway to represent the sneaker freaker colorway they have purple and also this mint green in this release they are focusing on this mint green colorway only I mean look at the box itself it's very dope very beautiful I barely able to film this in the frame of my camera over here but regardless let's pop it up and show you guys on the bottom part of this lid you're gonna have this foam for padded I guess to, for protection although the watch already fit very nice well in there this will be all the papers that you're gonna get I remember I bought this watch from the uh, mini site during the release all the way shipped from Australia at about 25,000 yen I can't recall something like that and the import tax will be about 1,000 yen in Japan at that time so yeah roughly almost 30,000 yen I can't recall the exact numbers though I couldn't find it either but anyway this will be all the paper since this guy was released outside of Japan you're gonna have this international warranty card and manual and this will be the stickers that are to represent the colorway of the brand which is mint green and also in purple you can see them use this similar type of colorway on other collab model from Adidas, Puma or New Balance sneaker collab and this will be the place where the whole the watch upper side will be the Night Owl design I mean that Night Owl logo or illustration over there is one of the best design I saw in a very long time I'm gonna show you guys the box first put the watch aside and if I pull this thing out you're gonna see this pad again similar to the one at the bottom part of the lid although this part is way thicker they I mean since this model will be shipped internationally all the way from Australia I guess this is one way for them to add all this protection for the watch and for the box as well to avoid it from getting crumbled by the postal service you know things like that tend to happen since they have a very tough rigid box and pad it all, all over it it's gonna be interesting thing and safely arrived to us and in this case safely arrived to me pretty good so it's, I'm gonna arrange all this at the back here of course alright here is gonna be the watch the first impression is very very dope especially when you unboxing and all that but when we look at the watch to be honest it is pretty disappointing to me man it's very simple I mean too simple in my opinion it just features a seasonal series matte black contrasting with white colorway to represent all the speckles for the stars and we have just tiny tint or hint of mint blue on the watch face with sneaker freaker the backlighting will show similar colorway again keep your lace loose will be the sneaker freaker motos and looking at the watch band it's just simple similar type of designs white speckles on the black base watch band similar to the one on the box the box of course will be in glossy this one will be in fully matte the band keeper is in matte white and the buckle is in IP process still to black with Kiasu Japan sign below it which is interesting we will expect this sort of features especially when we receive a model that was based on DW1600FS series which is Japan of course this will be the back plate keep your lace loose as well sneaker freaker collab similar thing similar uh, model and branding and grip at the back plate over there very nicely done and sharp and I mean look at that I watched the trailer of this release it looks very good on this trailer on a poster photo and all that but when you hold it on hand to be honest it is not as good probably just for me because as a collector I want something that is way better and they put a lot of efforts on designing the box picking the illustrations the night of logo over there is the best I wish they had Place that night all design at the back there on top of the watch band instead of these white speckles but that's just me guys if they did put that night all I bet this model will be one of the best one yet I mean 
everybody will be go all over this model. But now since they use these white speckles, meh, it's not so much. I could understand why they use these white speckles. They're gonna be more practical, more versatile to variations of people who want something simple. But for collectors like me, I want something crazy, especially they already come with crazy box, you know. This will be a quick wrist check photo as well, just in case you're interested to have know how it appears on the wrist, which is to me very simple. And if I'm not mistaken, during the day of its release, they also released this sort of or set of box alongside with a varsity jacket, a Temple of J book on a, another bigger sneaker top box but that is very very rare. I haven't got the chance to see it in person or hold it on hand so the watch over here will be all that I got to share with you guys in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative and entertaining as well for your future reference. Leave a like if it does and also subscribe to see more related contents like this in the future. Thank you very very much for watching guys, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and um...